Hey, this is Nathan with Analog Reviews, and today we're having a look at Anarchy Reigns. Anarchy Reigns is an ambitious release by Platinum Games, the studio known for working on the original Resident Evil and Devil May Cry titles. They're known most recently for creating Bayonetta. Anarchy Reigns is a 3D brawler that combines classic beat-em-up style games with elements of more modern third-person action games. Set in a post-apocalyptic future, where the human race has survived in two ways, either by implanting nanomachines into their bodies in order to become part robotic, or by simply evolving into mutants. The blue-blooded mutants are the primary enemy in the game, and they will constantly harass you at every turn. The game is over the top, and doesn't take itself too seriously like other Platinum game titles. Must be hard out here for a pimp. Whatever. Back to work. It also incorporates quite a bit of humor. The campaign is divided into two parts, where you can play as either Jack or Leo. Both of their stories interconnect, and once you complete one campaign, you'll automatically play the second one, similar in a sense to Resident Evil 2's Scenario B. The story, while not overly immersive, is somewhat entertaining, as both Jack and Leo are searching for a rogue cyborg by the name of Max. The game also features plenty of cutscenes and dialogue between fights. Each campaign is divided into stages, and each of the stages feature a somewhat open area to explore. While exploring, you're able to find blue safes that contain unlockable concept art, as well as various side missions. The environments are harsh. Mutants aren't the only thing you have to worry about. There are also rampaging vehicles, airstrikes, poison gas, and hostile drones. Though the campaign can feel a bit repetitive, it's necessary to play if you're looking to unlock the various characters for multiplayer. And the side missions can add an element of variety, as they feature fun mini-games. Side missions generally consist of defeating a bunch of enemies, although there are the odd vehicle sections as well as billiards and escort missions. Unfortunately, your character doesn't progress at all during the campaign. You don't level up or gain any new abilities or combos. The campaign is also a bit short, clocking in at only 6 hours. That's alright, as it is fairly repetitive, and Anarchy Reigns is designed to be primarily a multiplayer game. Combat in Anarchy Reigns is fun, and the chain together of abilities feels fluid. Unfortunately, there are only a few simplified attacks or combos per character, and it isn't nearly as complex as other Platinum titles, such as Bayonetta, who also makes a guest appearance in the form of an additional character for anyone who pre-ordered the game. Anarchy Reigns does try to compensate for the lack of an in-depth combat system by having 17 characters to choose from. Two of the characters are available from the start, while 15 of them are unlocked from playing through the campaign. Each of the characters have unique stats and their own fighting style. Some characters are quite a bit faster, while others deal heavier damage and are a bit more resilient. Anarchy Reigns does something unique by adding competitive multiplayer to a genre that is normally devoid of it. The multiplayer can be chaotic to say the least, but it can also be a lot of fun. The game features 11 different multiplayer modes, from large 16-player free-for-alls to more team-based modes, such as 2-on-2 tag teams and larger 4-on-4 objective-based games. Anarchy Reigns also features two different capture the flag modes as well as football, where you attempt to make a touchdown while simultaneously beating up other players. And finally, a survival mode, where you team up with two players and fight off wave after wave of various enemies. The game features 19 different multiplayer stages, and each of them are filled with hazards, from rampaging out-of-control vehicles, to poison gas, airstrikes, and the occasional monsters that appear. These add another level of unpredictability and randomness to the game. You can also level up in the multiplayer, unlocking more passive abilities and cosmetic emblems. Some of these passive abilities can be unlocked in the single player as well, although they can only be used during the multiplayer. Unfortunately, the main problem with the multiplayer is the fact that it can take a really long time to find a game, even if you're not picky with your search preferences. The graphics in Anarchy Reigns are decent, but they're not on par with other games released in 2013. The animations can look a bit stiff and robotic, while some of the environments are simply uninteresting. The effects in the game can be irritating at times, as there is a constant blur on the screen for the first chapter of the game, signifying pollution. The water effects also look somewhat fake. The music is unusual for a video game, featuring a lot of rap and a little bit of jazz, along with various other tracks. The majority of the music is rap, and this is fine if you're into that sort of thing, 
but if you're like me and you're not really a fan of rap, the majority of the music will become irritating after a while. Anarchy Reigns is a unique game, and despite its various issues, it's worth looking into. Especially if you're a fan of old-school beat-em-up games, or newer titles like God of War and Devil May Cry. Anarchy Reigns is a perfect chance to test out your skills in the competitive multiplayer, which can easily provide hour after hour of enjoyment. The graphics are by no means cutting edge, and the campaign and story can feel a little dull at times, but the game is still worth playing considering its lower initial price tag.